Hey YouTube, today I'll be teaching you how to film burn in between two different clips in Adobe After Effects. Of course, this is CS4, but you could probably do this in CS3 perfectly fine without any problems. But before we start, I'll just show you exactly what the effect is and what it should look like. Alright, we don't have to watch the end of the video. Alright, well since basically we have two different screens, I'll delete all my composition videos. So now we're just a blank screen. So go up to the composition, click new comp. Any of this doesn't really matter, except if you have if you're gonna make a long video, then you could edit the duration so you could fit everything in. But for right now it doesn't matter because you could just go back and change everything in the composition settings. And so all of my footage I just keep on the desktop. So I'll just drag it in or import it, whichever way you want. And then you're going to want to grab all of this, drop it down. And now you're going to want to have the film burn up top because that's the most dominant um, footage that you'll have. Just drag it over, drag this over. So you have your first clip that you want. Just move this up since this is my first clip. I have it in order. And there you go. So we got this whole clip. But right about here, you can see that the camera shakes a little bit. So I'm just going to clip that up by dragging the end of the clip all the way to the red line. And um, it just ends right there. You can still see it right here. It doesn't really matter. I wouldn't mess around with it too much. But just take this, take a cursor all the way to the to the end of the clip where you can still screw it. Move it over. You're gonna wanna make sure that it butts up with the clip pretty well. You don't want any black spaces or it's just gonna really annoy your viewer. And there you go, perfect. So now now on to the film burn. And this film burn, which I'll leave a description, I'll leave a link in the description to where you could get this. But for us, we're just going to use the film burn right about here. Because all this black isn't really necessary. Kind of stupid that they kept that in the film burn, but whatever. You could download new ones. There's a lot of free ones on the internet. Uh, you're going to drag it in the middle. You don't want to keep it in the middle, pretty much in the middle, really like right there. If you're off a little bit, it doesn't really matter. But then go down to your drop down settings, then to transform. You'll be working with opacity, so click the stopwatch or else you won't be setting any keynotes. And then scroll all the way to the left in the beginning of the film burn. You're going to want to bring the opacity down to zero. You can drag it or you could just enter it doesn't matter whatever you feel like doing and then same on the left I mean on the right sorry and then yeah there you go you could keep you could keep the film burn like this where it just goes up all the way and then drops down right away but what I prefer to do is moving left and right a couple frames and moving it back up to 100 so you get more of that film burn effect so that we'll go back up to this preview box and move over one two three four five frames to the left and bring it up to 100 and we'll do the same on the right and there you go so you can mess around whatever you want I mean it's all about how you feel and what you think it should look like. Just messing around with it is the key part of learning how to work with Adobe After Effects. So there you go, you got your basic film burn. You can preview it as much as you want. If you want to hear it with sound, go up to Composition, then RAM Preview in the Preview section. It will load up the whole video so it's previewed and this screen and then I'll pop up as a screen with sound. 
And there you go. Alright, so you'll notice that there's this black black section right now. And if you were to render it right now, it would render with the black. So what you want to do is go all the way to the right as much as you can without getting into the black section. And then you're gonna click this right now, the current time. You're gonna copy it. And then you'll just press enter to get rid of the screen. And like I said before, you can change it by just going right back up to the composition, then composition settings. You'll go into the duration, and then just paste what you copied before. And now you can change your composition name, comp1, whatever you want. I'll just change it to film burn, make it really easy. And you don't really have to mess with any of this unless you want to, just to see how different settings work. But just press OK. And then you want to render it, go back up to composition, add to render queue. Now the important part here is clicking lossless. If you want the video to have sound with it, you're gonna make sure you're gonna want to click this audio output. Without audio output, all of your uh, footage that you just rendered will not have audio. So now that we all got that settled, you could you could uh, click output to real easy. You could once again change what you want to save your movie as to be, or you or to where you want to save it. I usually just save it to my desktop, the easiest way to manage it and find it. So we'll just leave all of this the same, and then press save, and then render. Now, the longer the clip you have, the more frames you're going to have, which means the longer it's going to take to render, but usually it doesn't take too long. Like right now, we're halfway there. It's, usually, it's probably just going to take around 20, 24 seconds. And there you go. When you hear that sound, that just means it's all done. And you have a perfectly good clip. My clip is right here. And then you can do whatever you want to it, drag it into an editing program, upload it to YouTube. It doesn't matter what you want to do it. But thanks for watching my tutorial. And if you got any questions, leave a comment or send me a message and I'll hope to help you answer your question. Bye.